got a minute if he's going to do anything, Gray. He's got, still got just under a minute to do it. Yes, good. Myers came down with the head too, too low. Four for that drop kick again. Nice quick one. Reverse double knee hole a little too far over. Gets caught in the body scissors. <laughs> Just in case Myers starts doing the pinfall count from the referee. Make sure everything's off the deck. Half a minute. <laughs> And Craig doing the same thing in case he was going to get plenty. Ten seconds. Steve Gray from South East London, Peckham, 10 stone 7. And the boy who, midfield footballer for Microbe in the Sunday League, now a full time wrestler, but still plays on Sundays occasionally. Seconds away, round three. Round three, and four rounds to go. No score, but close to one four who decides this part. Count of two, but only two. Function Gray. And in case you've just joined us, Pavilion Hamill Hempstead. Round three, Steve Gray versus Clive Myers. Gray going up the way to Walter. Stay on Myers and in, in trouble there. The folding press. And he, he's lost the arms. He's lost the arms. Double leg Nelson now, Gray, but no chance to through the ropes. Good effort by Gray then. He got the nearest he has to a pinfall on the spot. The crowd obviously realized that. Just one fall decides this contest between Steve Gray, who has always been a lightweight ever since he's been wrestling when he turned pro in 1970, never held a title, and it's about time he had a chance at one, because he's really, a, a, could be a really great lightweight now, I think. He's got a lot of experience, and he's showing up very well even today against this much heavier man and the weight above him, Clive Myers. <laughs> I was again going for that single finger interlock that he always favors. His right hand, and of course with those muscles he could send Gray up right up to the lights above him. And he could give us a mission from that move. Didn't. Still, Myers has the finger in the lock. Still that same hold on, Myers. Persevering with it. Only seconds for down left. And Wisely, great, putting the left foot on the shoulder and taking the weight. Now both feet. Nicely up and a good drop kick finish, chest high. Miles up quick, headbutt to the stomach. Great came back a little late there, but he goes through. Lost weight in the headbutt the first time, but getting it the second. Miles off the ropes again, over the top. Lovely drop by Gray. Beautifully dropped. And Miles in trouble here. Gray can follow this through. And a couple of minutes to go, and Miles comes back with that headbutt and slows it down. Wisely and in time, but still goes over the top and a double knee hold of Myers. Double leg Nelson out of Gray and over the top for Myers again. But he's he's got the arms, no, he's lost them. Oh, so near for both men. Then, what a beautiful bout this is for a preliminary contest at catch weight. One of the best we've seen 
recently on television, I would say. Really fast-moving stuff. Both men putting everything into it. Attacking there, and either one of them could have got that one fall required for this boat during that minute and a half there. So it's a leg spread now, Myers holding it on. You see if Gray uh, moves backwards there, as you think he could do, which he could do, but if he does, then Myers merely follows him. He feels the move coming and just and can't move his feet upwards from there, because Myers' feet are on top. Less than a minute to go now. Now he can move, and of course Myers takes his attention off for a second, and Gray does just that. Myers not quite understanding what happened then. I think that somebody called him or something from his corner and he lost concentration for a minute. Gray got out of trouble in no time. For Nelson Gray. And I think Myers will have not too much trouble breaking that. Another chance. 15 seconds. And a third by the cherry. He's in a bit of a hurry. He's got five seconds to go. Steve Gray, who boxed as a schoolboy, of course, uh, naturally, when you've got a father, as his father, who is well known. As a lightweight boxer, his ring name was Fred Steen. That's Stu Gray, ex-boxer, now full-time wrestler. Stu Gray, round four. Round four, three rounds to go, and it's Clive Myers versus Stu Gray. Myers in the welterweight pocket. Stu Gray, ten and a half stars. Start of round four, three rounds to go, one for the deciders. Oh, quarter. Caught him butt well. And Gray again with the advantage. And trying to that drop didn't quite come off, and it worked fairly well. Oh, trouble. And both out. Both out. Now then, which one is going to get back in time, and which one is going to allow the other one back in time? Gray on top at the moment, it looks like. And I don't think any of them are going to get back. They are not. Max Ward has counted them both out. So it's a double knockout. And I'm very glad, at least, that Steve Gray, after his magnificent effort, didn't get defeated by the heavier man, and at least says something. Let's hope that both of them, both of them are okay, that it doesn't look too good as the seconds go in to check. Mike Judd, our MC. Ladies and gentlemen, both men, having failed to beat the count, the result of this contest is a double knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, after what can only be described as a terrific, lively contest, a brilliant contest, I'm sure you give both these boys a fantastic round of applause. Steve Gray... ..and Clive Myers. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, cheer him right out of the hall. Steve Gray and Clive Meyer.